behalf of Tough Entertainment, these are your five fives with your host, Taran Bryce. Hello, Bahamas. Our top story. Bahama opens its highly anticipated water park, appropriately called Baja Bay. At the opening ceremony this past week, Prime Minister Dr. Hubert Minnis had this to say. Let me begin with the wonderful decorate declaration, the Bahamas is coming back. Bahamians and the public at large can expect access to Baja Bay in special day pass prices before the end of summer. Let's just hope that your ghetto Negroids don't turn this into another Skywalker situation. <laughs> what? Too soon? Hello, monkeys! <laughs> in other local news, entertainer Julian Believe Thompson recently denied flouting COVID-19 rules by hosting a social gathering back in April. Police fined Julian $92,000 after they shut down an event held at Bahama Barracks. Needless to say, the fine wasn't paid, resulting in Believe being summoned to court. You try paying that kind of money on a Bahamian artist's salary. <laughs> in the end, Julian pleaded not guilty and returns to court on August 13th for trial. <laughs> so I guess you could say that the court <laughs> believed him. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along, the Ministry of Agriculture and Marine Resources has advised that cane toad sightings have been reported in parts of New Providence. The statement advises residents to not handle cane toads with your bare hands because they produce a venom that irritates the skin. However, I'm more concerned about anyone who is mental enough to actually touch a toad with their bare hands in the first place. Who and who? If you so happen to be unblessed enough to see a cane toad, you are advised to call the Department of Agriculture or the Department of Environmental Health. Or, you know, just move. Forget the house, the kids, leave the country, start a new life. It's never too late. Now on to international news. Prevailing research is suggesting that one of the long-term effects of being infected with COVID-19 is <laughs> erectile dysfunction in males. <laughs> Signs of fertility issues were most seen in men in their 20s and 30s, months after contracting the COVID-19 virus. <laughs> As if women didn't already have enough problems with you dogs. In sports news, American track star Shakari Richardson has tested positive for cannabis. This makes her unlikely to get the chance to challenge for the Olympic 100 meter title in Tokyo later this month. The 21 year old who had an impressive runtime of 10.86 seconds was shaping up to be a promising candidate to win it all in the 100 meter. With a one month ban for positive marijuana tests, she may only compete in the relays. Safe to say, this is not her at all. It's now time for our Conk of the Week. Our Conk of the Week is ironically Fina for recently banning swimming caps designed for natural black hair from the Olympics. Fina ruled that no athletes needs caps of such size and that the caps don't follow the natural form of the hair. Well, Fina, you can't see it now, but I'm showing you the natural form of one of my fingers right now. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. This has been the Five Fives. I'm your host, Ryan Boyce, and I'll see you next time. Hashtag Black Lives Always Matter. Yeah, but they Fina feel these hands. <laughs> oh, they want to feel that. What? <laughs> what is the joke? <laughs>